I am Def Undead and welcome to the second tutorial on this channel. Today the tutorial will be relatively short. We will first look at the theory and then how to implement it. Here the approach is shown using animation player in 3D and does not require any code. Many people will already know Camera Shake for what it is. If you are one of them, you can jump to the implementation via the chapter. For an insight into what it is, I will explain it briefly via theory and back it up with examples. As the name suggests, it is all about shaking the camera at the right moment. This is used in pretty much every game and is another way of expressing the current game event. Besides the normal animations, you can play with the intensity and therefore make scenes look more vivid. It is not only needed for explosions, where most people notice it, but the best use of this technique is to use it everywhere. This way, isolated animations that use camera shake don't look out of place. You can use the camera optimally to make running or the ground more visual. I have a few animations from my game that show what this camera movement is all about. You can see them opposite each other and it's clearly visible how the camera movement can make a difference. To understand this better, let's look at some scenes from video games. I have deliberately taken games from various genres and both 2D, 3D and in first and third person. This is to show that this is really used everywhere. Try not to pay attention to the character's movement, but actually how the camera moves. It's a good idea to re-watch scenes a few times to see how the camera is used perfectly to emphasize what's being shown. We are now implementing this in an existing project. It has a typical structure of a 3D game with third person. If your game is 2D or first person, it doesn't matter because the implementation has the same approach. The only important thing is that the camera is always static in its transform. If this is not the case, make a parent element and controls the main movement. Now open the scene with your character where the camera is also attached. First we go into split screen mode with the camera view active in one view. Create a new animation player in the same node as the camera. Rename it to camera shake and create the first animation. We call it simply shake week and change the duration to 0.3 seconds. Now we animate the position of the camera and insert the relevant keyframes until we are satisfied. I want to trigger the camera shake when my player performs a certain action. So I will put my previous created animation here. When importing scenes from a file, you need to make sure that you save the animations as separate files when importing, so that your changes are not lost. If you trigger your animation from within the code, you can simply trigger the animation here. With the animation player we have the advantage to start the shaking at the right time. In animation player we add a new track under the existing animation. Click on add animation and then on animation playback track. Select the new animation player from the list. At the desired point in the animation add a new key by right clicking 
and select the correct animation in the inspector. If we now run the game, we will have the camera shaking at the desired position. That's it, the implementation is that simple, but the effect is very strong. If you have a question, post it in the comments and I will try to answer as soon as possible. If the tutorial helped you, please leave a like. See you in another tutorial or devlog of my game. Bye!